Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. In this video, I want to talk about some of the different things that I do inside of Microsoft OneNote with Windows 11 and how I specifically use OneNote. So that means that I'm using a handful of different tools and I think it makes a huge difference and makes things a lot simpler. Now, the first thing I want to show off is, and you probably can see both of them, is I have text being spoken into OneNote on the lines and is tracking and is doing a really good job. So I'm using Cortana speech to text. This is a Windows keyboard shortcut, Win plus H. Now, this is absolutely amazing as far as I'm concerned because this took a long, long time to figure out. So trick number one is using Calibri 11, view, rule lines, narrow. Now you're gonna to wanna to go over here to settings, we're gonna to go to options, and we're gonna make sure that Calibri 11 is your default font. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna look at, uh, let's, let's go to draw mode. This over here is the artist pad and the pen tool is right down here. So let's go pen tool, artist pad. Okay, now I like having my, my font the same the whole time. I like being able to go back and forth actually between uh, handwritten uh, script and text on the screen. So here I'm gonna show you a little trick. So I'm gonna select this, I'm gonna hit the text button. That's actually over here in the UI. Now I'm going to click up here with my finger I'm going to press this button, Control Shift C. I'm going to select this text and I'm going to paste that formatting. Okay, so let's do the same thing down here. We're going to select this and we're going to press conversion and let's tap it again and let's paste our style. Now this is nicely situated on the line. If it wasn't, I can hold down Alt and I can drag it to exactly where I want it on the page. Cool, right? I'm going to select this whole thing and let's bring this up here and let's select this and let's move it in a little bit. Good. Uh, by the way, here you want to turn on auto punctuation for this to do all of the stuff that I was demonstrating. New line, new line. In another video, I'll go into uh, more commands for Cortana speech to text and we'll kind of go through. Wow, Windows Calculator. Delete that. More commands that uh, show you what to do and how to uh, control speech to text better. So sometimes this just doesn't do a good enough job. So let's say you want to select a word and you can open up the uh, touch keyboard fiduciary. That's exactly what I wanted. And you can uh, adjust things here. So we're going to go back and let's go back a whole word and delete. Okay, so and let's undo, 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 redo. Okay, so you can do that um, by bringing up the touch keyboard. If you want the emoji keyboard, fist bump and bring up the on screen keyboard. And I think this is actually really important because this gives you full control. You can do a lot of things on, on the on-screen keyboard that you can't really do in a lot of other places has just more uh, keys available and they do like sticky key type stuff. Okay, the next thing that I want to go into, I like using OneNote with uh, classes or tutorials or different things that I'm learning. And so making OneNote transparent is actually a really big deal. So we're going to go over here to Chrome and I have a C++ um, I have a C++ video that I'm watching. All right, so we're going to jump back over here. We're going to make this slightly transparent. We're going to go up. Notice that I can see through the window and I control whether or not the video is playing. Now I have this muted in the background, but obviously you could control the volume here as well. So I have render window window here. So let's actually like go ahead and do some of this. And we're going to switch between 
Oops, that's incorrect. Comma. The game. And finish. All right. That would be really difficult to do, really difficult to do using the standard tools. That I flew through that very, very easy. Now, I don't think this is going to work, but let's give it a shot. Let's go ahead and try what we tried earlier. That's pretty cool. That's pretty useful. Um, now, if I wanted to grab one of these, uh, let's say I want to take video uh, and change the font color, you can do that sort of like that. That's not right. That's not right. But uh, point being, you can do some really neat things. Okay, let's go ahead and switch over here. I'm going to use the sniping tool. I'm going to grab this and we're going to hop back over and we're going to paste it right into OneNote. Paste. And let's resize. Cool. All right, so that that is the primary ways that I use uh, OneNote in 2021. These are the fast, easy tips uh, all in one place. Uh, I love using the sniping tool, the transparency so that I can, I can actually watch and study something. You can use that in a Zoom call uh, so that you can see the person that you're talking to and take notes at the same time without them being in a tiny little window in the corner and actually see what's, what's being presented to you. Okay. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you found this content useful, if you use a stylus and a Windows tablet, this is a fantastic channel for you. So please subscribe and comment with any questions that you have. Uh, by the way, this artist pad over here is um, highly customized. It is not available yet. If you guys want it available, there's a handful of little caveats. This actually can work just exactly the way it is, but I made it really pretty by <laughs> <laughs> aligning everything like notice here if I um, drop the taskbar out that this does not align here um, up here at the top this does not align the same way that it was just a moment ago so anyway a slightly misaligned version is is uh, easy to make available so if you want that just put it in the comment section uh, until next time stay creative and have a wonderful day